What's up guys, it's your boy Alan Way back again with another video. This time we are going to be embroidering the SEPTA logo, the Southeastern Transportation Authority logo. That's the transportation system in Philadelphia for those of you guys who don't know. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up right now, and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, you see the SE600 is sitting right over there. And when you see that machine, you know exactly what time it is. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, guys, you got our SE600 right here. We are just going to put our hoop in. And as you guys can see, we already stitched this out twice. This is my very, very first attempt and it actually came out perfect. I just wanted to address a little issue in the corner. So I addressed it and fixed it right here in the second one. So you guys see what it's gonna look like when you stitch it out. AllenAway.com available for purchase today. So I'm just gonna go over here to the screen of the SE600 and I'm going to reposition that so it doesn't overlap with any of our existing ones. All right, so I adjusted that. I'm gonna hit end and embroider. And it says it's going to take two minutes to stitch out the white part, one minute to stitch out the red part, and four minutes to stitch out the blue part. And guys, total stitch out, eight minutes. Can't beat that. Awesome. Very, very fast. And we are going to have a great design. So I'm just going to let this needle down and we're gonna press the button. White thread is all hooked up. All you gotta do is press this button right here and it's gonna start. Boom. Penetrate the material. See the SE600 start to embroider the design. The way it embroiders the design, looking good, looking good. Doing the white part right here of the SEPTA logo, white on white. So guys, if you haven't purchased your SE600 as of yet, use my Amazon link down in the description below. I am an Amazon affiliate. And when you use my link, I get a small percentage. You don't have to pay anything else. Just use my link when you're purchasing anything on Amazon. As I said before, I'm an Amazon affiliate and it helps the channel out a lot and keeps me encouraged and motivated to make videos like this, showing you guys the latest in what I've created for you guys to download. And this specific design, um, I don't know about you guys, but there's a lot of potential in the designs that I've been creating lately because what they will actually allow you to do is go out and if you live in the area where that company functions, you can actually provide a service to that company for a fee, such as making uniforms and such. So this logo, for example, you can get a bunch of blank winter hats, right? And you can stitch the logo directly to the hat. You can get a bunch of shirts. If you get the type of shirt that the SEPTA people wear and you can um, stitch it onto their shirts and provide uniform services, gloves, all types of things like that. Um, the sky is the limit when it comes to these businesses and the designs and the services that you can provide for them. Customized gear, how about masks? How about you can customize the SEPTA logo mask? I also have Amtrak, I also have United States Postal Service. So yeah, guys, got a bunch of different logos for you guys to purchase so you guys start your embroidery business. So make sure you visit alanaway.com and purchase some .pes files today. All right, so this is done with the white stitch out. So I'm gonna switch the thread to red. This, the machine is asking for red thread. It's gonna say it's gonna take one minute to stitch that part out. I'm gonna pull out my white right here. I got this, gotta make sure that's up and pull the thread out. Normally I swipe underneath there, but because I raised the press of foot that released the tension from the tension wheels inside the machine, I'm gonna grab my spool saver I have sitting right here below me off camera and I'm gonna put this on to my thread to make sure it doesn't make a mess because if you don't use this, your thread, when you put it away, it'll get all over the place. So spool savers, make sure you get your spool savers, link in the description down below this video, guys. So I'm loading up the red thread right here and I have a video on how to load this machine properly. So make sure you guys check that video out if you don't know how to do it. But the instructions are on the actual machine but the problem is there's a little trick to it and I'll show you guys exactly what that trick is on my video so that you can get it perfect every single time. Where's my scissors at? The tail is kind of long, so I'm just gonna grab it and I'm just gonna trim it to about right there. I'm just gonna start this red part. 
right here just like that. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And it's amazing just to watch this machine do its work. It's interesting how the programmers program this to stitch out designs with such accuracy and precision. Had this machine going on a year and a half, maybe two years now, and still works like a charm. For the money that you pay for this machine, honestly, I think it's a uh, pays for itself depending on what you're doing even if you're just making stuff for yourself personally pays for itself over and over again all right 300 bucks 300 bucks and change even if it's high right now because I was told that it's one of the only machines that's still available to purchase right now on Amazon um, because everything else is sold out because everyone wants to make masks but even if it's like $411 or $415 it's still well worth it think of the possibilities it can sew and it can embroider, so not only can you embroider your patches, but you could also sew them onto the garments with this one-stop shop machine right here. All right, so you see it's starting to stitch out good. Now it's gonna go around and stitch, of course, that one little, that one little patch, that one little thing right there, then it's done. And we're gonna switch colors. It's asking for blue now, which is gonna be the final color. Like I said before guys, very, very easy stitch out. Gonna raise a foot, swipe underneath one time, pull that thread out, wind it up like so to make sure you keep it nice and neat. Use your spool saver to keep it together. I don't see mine, oh here it is. Use the spool saver to keep everything together. Grab our next thread, which is the blue. It's gonna take four minutes. And we load up our machine with the blue thread. Boom, bam, bam. And after you do this a few times, you'll be doing it fast and proficient, just like ya boy. Once again, if you haven't purchased your brother SE600 sewing and border machine, make sure you use my Amazon link in the description below. I am an Amazon affiliate. And again, it helps the channel out a lot, guys. All right, so we're gonna do the last part right now. Only thing I'm gonna need to do is push this button right here because it's all set. See, watch this. Boom, boom. Starting to stitch out right there. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Let me get an over top view for you guys. And for this part, you're just gonna let it stitch out the entire thing. The entire thing. No stops need, actually, yeah, one stop does need to be make, made. And I'm gonna show you guys what that is. It's when um, it's gonna stitch out this part right here. Then it's gonna stitch around the whole design, which is gonna be the outline. And then jumping from the outline going to the S, there's one cut, the machine needs to be stopped, and there's one cut that needs to be made um, while stitching out. All right, that's the only thing that we're gonna have to do. But for the most part, you don't really need to do that, but just for the sake of not having any mistakes and not, you know, stitching over anything, you wanna go ahead and make that cut. All right, guys, and guys, don't forget, if it's your first time here, subscribe to your channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that thumbs up button right now if you think this is of some value and can make some people some money on the side. Side businesses, side business providing uniform services to companies in your area. You can do, um, you can do nursing homes, right? You can do, direct care workers or something like that. You can do doctors, right? You can do um, businessmen that want their um, suit, they want their initials on their, on, on their cuffs of their sleeves of their shirts, right? You can do security companies. You can do just about any company wants uh, customized embroidery on their uniforms. See the precision is the SE600 goes around ripping all of the itches of this design. Give this video a thumbs up right now if it looks clean to you. See one little cut that needs to be made from here where the red went from here to there. So we gotta make that trim right there when we're done. And so far that's about it. Brother SE600 approaching the final lap, the final descent of this triangle around the whole, not triangle, rectangle, curved rectangle around this whole design. Right here, guys, don't laugh at me in the comment section. All right, now you see that cut right there? Now this is where we're gonna stop the machine. 
we're going to push this button right here real fast because there's a cut right here that I'm fearful that um, the S, because this part is an S, right? The S is gonna go around and it's gonna um, embroider on, onto this, uh, this loose thread right here. So I'm just gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it. Then I'm gonna cut this part of it right here. Gotta use my left hand even though I'm right-handed because of where the camera is, just gonna trim that. Boom. And lower the foot back down. That button change colors again. Now I'm gonna press the button again. Button's right here. Got a weird view here, weird angle. And then it's gonna start back up. Weird angle, but I just wanted to keep it like this so you guys can see the stitch out. Check this out. Now, what I want you guys to pay attention to is how neat the letter's coming out. Letters are coming out very, very neat and legible. That's why it's important to have your design to be the right size, guys. If you want to digitize your logo, hit me up, awproductions at gmail.com right now, awproductions at gmail.com. Send me a picture of your image and I'll reply with a price on how much your design will cost to be digitized and you can digitize it over and you can stitch it out over and over and over again with your brother SE600 and make money selling merch for your company or just have your just look more official when you have like your company logo on your clothing that you wear when you do your business, all right? So keep that in mind, adubproductions at gmail.com, A-D-U-B-B-P-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-O-N-S, adubproductions at gmail.com. I think I spelled that right. <laughs> but uh, guys, the SE600 is done stitching out the design. See how it came out, boom. Gonna pull it out, make some trims and We'll see how it came out. Let's look. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. As you can see on the screen, it says it's finished embroidering. So I'm just gonna acknowledge that, I press okay. And where are my scissors at? Down here somewhere. I'm just gonna take the design, raise the foot up and then take the design out. All right, design is out. And let's check it out, guys. The one at the bottom right here. You guys see that? A little closer. You guys see that? Good, 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 good. Should I open up the ISO to get you some more light? How about this? How about that? Yeah, that's better. Live ISO action while filming. Don't try this at home, guys. All right, so, um, we're just gonna go ahead and make some trims. Obviously, you see what the cuts need to be made. So you just, easy trims for this design. We've already made one while I was stitching out. Trim that one right there. Trim this one right here, all right? There's one right here that's kind of hiding. And then there's one right here. Doesn't get any easier than that, right? You can get closer with your shears, or if I was off camera and doing this on the table, they'll be able to get closer, but as you guys can see, nice and clean, alanaway.com right now if you want to purchase this design so you can make SEPTA clothing and sell to SEPTA's employees at the depot nearest you guys. Just a business idea for you guys. So alanaway.com, purchase yourself a .pes, help the channel out a lot, appreciate it. All right guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got some value out of it. But as you guys can see, our design came out great. Uh, overexposed design came out great um, I only had to digitize it one time and the first time I made it came out pretty pretty decent um, pretty perfect actually so I just decided to clean it up just a little bit um, to make it perfect for you guys and the design is perfect and flawless so alanaway.com pick up your .pes file today if you haven't purchased your brother sp 600 use my amazon link down in the description below give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so already any questions you have comment in the comment section down below and i'll be quick to answer everything that you have that you want to ask me most people like to ask me what design software do i use i use brother pe design 10 so you don't have to ask me that in the comment section but i'm quite sure somebody will anyway that's okay and guys 
What was my third thing? Oh yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I think I already said that. But guys, don't forget to go over to my Instagram, instagram.com backslash productions and follow me there. And go over to Facebook, facebook.com backslash productions. follow me there, facebook.com Facebook backslash kingadub and follow that page also. I greatly appreciate it, guys. I hope you enjoyed yourself stitching along with this design. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, we rockin' with the best, baby.